Hello everyone! Happy Christmas! Hello there. Greetings. Gather round, everyone. Gather round. The demonstration of the Muppet Mobile Lab will proceed in just a few moments. Just as soon as the uh, speaker stops playing. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Sorry, I'm gonna need you to back up. Thank you very much. Hi, ladies. We're gonna back Hello. Welcome to the Muppet Mobile Lab. Sorry about that. Got the cheap gas. We need to pay more for the gas. Hello, everyone. Greetings. Gather around, everyone. Gather around. It's time to have fun with science. As you well know, I am Dr. Bunsen Honeydew, and this is my longtime loyal assistant, Beaker. Yes, and also with us are our intrepid interns, Newton and Einstein. Let's have a big round of applause for them. We are from Muppet Mobile Labs, where for many years I have created inventions to make everyone's life easier. Right, Beaker? We have been invited here by Mr. Mickey Mouse himself to share some of the groundbreaking work going on at Muppet Labs and to get you all excited about science. Are you all excited about science? Let me hear you! Oh, we are so thrilled. Don't just think. We are so we are here to bring you the thrill of the lab directly to you. Yes, I've invented this most remarkable vehicle, everyone. Introducing the Muppet Mobile Lab! Thank you for that unsolicited applause. It fuels our passion for science. But unfortunately, Beaker's passion seems to have, well, run out of gas. Yes, you see, Beaker has decided to leave Muppet Labs. Uh, Everyone, ah, uh, uh, Oh, there we go. Anyhow, I, I guess it's no secret that, uh, I value my relationship with you there, Beaky, very much. <laughs> oh, you, you, yes, you, you've always been my best friend. No, I hate to see you go, Beaky. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna miss you too. Oh, oh. All right, Beaker, that's enough. There's no crying in science. Well, folks, I may not see my colleague Beaker for a long time. Yes, his bags are packed and he's decided to take a long vacation. Baby! But, as I always say, science makes your life easier. That's why my next invention is perfect for Beaky's long trip. Yes, I'm proud to share with you... The Vacation Tron! Yes, yes folks, yes. With the Vacation Tron, you can go to exotic locales instantly and never have to pack a suitcase. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, uh, relax, Beaker. This experiment is as safe as anything I've ever done in Muppet Labs. Woo! <laughs> well, here we go. First, we're off to merry old England. Here we go. Ah, it can't be London without fog. Yes, fog so thick you don't even know you're not really in England at all. Yes, ice cold in Alaska, where the temperature cools and snow is all around. Oh, Pinky, honestly, it's only snow. Next up, Africa. Here we go. Yes, Africa, to see the most famous waterfall in the world, Victoria Falls. And finally, we travel to Indonesia. Yes, folks, Indonesia. A country with more volcanoes than anywhere else in the world. Yes, yes, volcanoes. <laughs> there we are. There we go, a trip around the world in under a minute and a half, everybody. 
everybody. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. I think the vacation trials is success. Is it? Science fun. Oh. oh, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. The vacation tron, folks. Well, be here after seeing that. What it's like out there in the world. You'll probably want to stick around after all. What's that? The experiment made you want to leave all the more? Oh, oh dear. Oh, I'm afraid that plan backfired. Well, everyone, it looks like Beaker really is leaving Muppet Labs. We'll begin our search for his replacement. But first, Beaker, I, I think it would be fitting for you to share some parting words with all of us. Like, would, would you all like to hear Beaker say what's in his heart? Oh, I think Beaker needs encouragement. Come on, everyone, let's cheer him on. Beaker, Beaker, Beaker. Beaker, Beaker. Beaker. All right, Beaker, the floor is yours. Okay. Oh, big round of applause. Oh, let's hear it for Beaker. Oh, Beaker, I've never heard you be so articulate. Everyone, wasn't that fantastic? It was wonderful. You know, I see this one gentleman right over here with a white shirt right over there, pushing the little ones. Right over there with the baseball cap, that gentleman right there. You, sir, you look like you were deeply affected by Beaker's speech. Yes. Uh, what's your name? Speaking to the microphone, tell me, what's your name, sir? JT. One more time? JT. JD. All right, JD. JT now, what was your favorite part of Beaker's speech? <laughs> me too. Oh, <laughs> we are on the same wavelength. Actually, JD, you may have the making of a future lab assistant. Let me ask you a few questions. Okay, now where are you from? St. Louis. Me too. Now what's your favorite color? Blue. Me too. <laughs> me too. Uh, now, uh, so tell me, we have so much in common. One more question. What is your middle name? Thomas. Me too. Did, oh no, oh wait, that's, that's not my middle name. But Thomas is my cat's middle name. Ladies and gentlemen, the search is over. Ooh. We have Beaker's replacement. Everyone cheer my new lab assistant, JD, right over here, my new best friend. Everyone go, JD, JD. <laughs> JD, JD. Oh, look at that, JD. Oh, Beaker, Beaker, come down there now. We found your replacement. JD will get up there and head of the lab. Oh, now don't be jealous, Beaky. Now come on, get on down there. Quick, Beaker. No, 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 come down, down there. We don't have to argue in front of JD and all these people here. Hold on a second. Don't wreck the lab there, Beaker. Stop doing that there. What do you mean you've changed your mind? I thought you wanted to leave. You want to stay? Really? You mean it? Oh, Beaker, oh, this is wonderful. I knew you'd never leave me there, Beaky. Well, thank you, JD. Thank you. Big round of applause for JD. You'd make a terrific lab assistant one day. And everyone cheer Beaker, too. He's back. Well, Beaker, maybe we should show these fine folks one last invention before we leave. Uh, what do you say? Uh, just to show how fun science can be. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you affected by onslaught of, of uh, colds and allergies, I'm excited to introduce the anti-sneeze ray. Yes, sneezes will soon become a thing of the past with the help of Beaker here, who will be my test subject. Now, I simply pull this lever to release a cloud of carpet dust. There we go. And now we add a little cayenne pepper to the mixture. Do you, do you feel the urge to sneeze, Beaker? Let it build. Hold on. Now the mighty invisible beams from this powerful ray will stop the sneeze dead in its tracks. There we go. Let it build, Beaky. Activating the anti-sneeze ray. 
Success! Beaker didn't sneeze, it works! The anti-sneeze ray really works, everybody! Uh, well, side effects of this invention include losing your wardrobe. <laughs> well, that's all from the Lab. Thanks for being a wonderful audience! Oh, yes, we're gonna get Piggy back to the lab. I just had a brilliant idea! Rolling staplers! Oh, don't worry, Piggy, it'll only sting for a second. Oh, I'm so glad you're back! Thanks, Piggy! Get your clothes on there, Peter. These Disney parks have a dress code, you know. So long, everybody, from Muppet Mobile Labs. Goodbye, everybody. Hello there. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Come on, Peter. Sorry there, Peter has a little wardrobe malfunction going on Hello there. Muppet Lab coming through. Hello, Einstein. Watch out, we're not insured. The reason why we weren't insured is we don't have brakes. Come on, Mickey. Goodbye, everybody. Come back later for more demonstrations of the Muppet Mobile Lab.